This Jesa Wilson's parents, you have reached across the galaxy to strike a sharp blow at our enemies. Every lead followed perfectly, every planet ravaged. Our adversary is growing antsy, I can feel it. Expect news soon. Barris out. My lord, I thought it prudent not to interrupt Darth Barris. We received a recorded transmission. It is queued when you are ready. Sith, I'm Jason Wilson. My master, Noman Carr, has no idea I'm sending this message. Let's be real. We both know this isn't about us. Ah. The hunted seeks the hunter. Our masters pretend otherwise, but this is personal. You and I are only pawns in their private war, and those I care about are caught in the middle. It has to stop. Wow. Gotta give it to her. She sure got guts. She certainly does. I appreciate directness. Your brutal actions have my attention, but this passive aggressive foolishness is intolerable. This message includes coordinates where I'll be waiting in my ship. Let's discuss this face to face. No more nonsense. What do you think of that, Captain? It could be a trap, my lord. Noman Khan may have put her up to it. Hey, don't listen to Captain Paranoid here. I don't think it's a trap. I trust her. I'll take that under advisement. The coordinates are set, my lord. We can rendezvous with her ship whenever you give the word. never gonna guess what I've been doing. No, no, don't try. I'll tell you. In between jumps, I've been checking hollow frequencies, and I found the old gang. They're on Nar Shadda. They weren't leaving messages for me in the old spots. I thought they got themselves caught, or dead, or something. That must have been very nice. Was that you trying to be polite? Old gang's been on the run since I've been gone. Apparently, our mysterious informant for the Korriban job was that scum-sucker Kata Bliss. Bliss sure got revenge for the job we pulled on him. Fake mission, fake cover story. I'm thrown in the slave pens. And he hits the gang hard. You're still alive. So the cycle of revenge can still complete. For once, I have to agree with your angry Sith thing. Once they escaped the mercenaries. Taunting what's left of the old gang spent their last credits tracking Katabliss's movements. That Duro snake has managed to get his hands on the Star of Kalaun. It's a priceless piece of Twi'lek history. I want to get it back. We'll find this Duros and make him pay for every slight against you and yours. You're fantastic! Katabliss is at the spaceport on Narshada, trying to line up a buyer. I'll send a message that we're coming. Make us out to be interested buyers. Oh, and I'll tell the gang to get ready to receive the artifact. Bliss has some famous Kalish bodyguard they call the Virus working for him these days. But that's not gonna worry you, is it? My lord, my efforts to locate SIS agent Folloran have finally paid off. There is a small window of opportunity to confront him. I can handle the matter personally. Permission to intercept and bring him down. There's no time to waste. He must finally be stopped. I appreciate your decisiveness, my lord. The Empire will finally be served. I'll return shortly. My lord, I'm back from my mission. I'm pleased to report, Agent Voleran's decade of espionage has been brought to an end. It is a great day for the Empire. It isn't every day you close the book on an old score. It is long overdue. Thank you for allowing me to pursue this, my lord.
I value your constant professionalism and expertise, Quinn. Thank you, my lord. Is there anything you require at this time? Carry on, Captain. By all means, my lord. Patched up. I'll be in my quarters. Good to stretch the old legs. You're good to go. <coughs> You're good to go. Jam Kangam, Amka Nem Nang, Ampa Nem Nang Mabua Inok, Raka Kem you Amkam Nemnu, Nam Gan Bak Umnok Ki Jak. What did you call me? No, not possible. Lapo Ram Anka, Mamni Nika, Nagnaya Mamni Kamgam. 
Hand over the Star of Calaroon, and this goes easy. Look, Captain. I hear. Give a gunka, gakyum, clack nimo amyakalak. It's your show. How do we handle this? Katabliss, you have exploited my people, stolen our artifacts, and committed numerous crimes against Twi'leks the galaxy over. We're full up on ugly. Katabliss, you have exploited my people, stolen our artifacts, and committed numerous crimes against Twi'lax the galaxy over. Return the Star of Kala'an. Promise to reform, and we may show mercy. I'll grab the Star of Kala'an. We can meet the old gang here on Nashada. They'll make sure the star ends up in a museum. In Twi'lek hands. You're good to go. Well, look who the act dog dragged in. Taunt! Guys! And this must be the handsome Sith you've been seeing the galaxy with. Impressive. I've already got all the beautiful tweed <coughs> women I need, thanks. Oh? You're... <laughs> I see. Well, good luck cracking that safe. Am I missing something? Just jokes, love. Don't sweat it. Shall we talk business? The star of Kala'un is in the case. Authentic and undamaged. Chiktahopa! Got that right. Most important single blow for Twi'lek pride. All you vet. You've done something great for your people here. Chaamo into Otmangisa. Mitisa taparena? Here. It's every credit we could scrape together. And don't worry, we should be able to sweet talk the museum into getting us some of that back. Oh no, I know you guys. You won't even be eating. You have to buy equipment, bribe fees. We don't need your credits, do we? They are your people. It's your choice. Then I say keep the credits. Have a big dinner for me. Get some new gear. Kunto Kororja. I... No. I found a place. I'm gonna stay put for a while. But I'll keep in touch. You've at least got time for a meal, right? Let us show Sith a good time. 
nobody celebrates like Sith celebrate. Hiknagumba. Stuka sun kanji tavutaya. I missed you guys. I'll say hello whenever I can. Be well, love. I'll miss you. Watch your back out there, kid. Later. Lead the way. You've been patched up. Well, well. We're going to have to thank Noman Carr after all. The Sith showed. Stand down, Sith. Padawan you seek is not here. Master Carr discovered her plan and talked her out of it. It's not your day. You were expecting one lowly little Padawan to crush. And instead, you get us. You'll do just fine. I enjoy destroying your kind. Then we have something in common. I am Alden. This is Xylix. We are fully trained Jedi Knights and more than your match. You should submit. Of course, we have yet to encounter a Sith who had the sense to surrender. You all seem bent on having us destroy you. Surrender to me and I'll end your suffering quickly. See? Just like all the others. It seems you're right, Xylix. Prepare yourself. Noman Carr warned that this Sith is especially brutal. Let me show you how brute. Well, well, that it. You'll do just then. We have. I'm of course. Surrender to me and I see. It seems you're right, Xylix. Gather your wits and strength. I want to defeat you at your best. Be careful what you wish for. Oh, my God. 
Ilex has fallen. I see it is futile to oppose you. You've won the day, Sith. So kill me if you must. I must. <gasps> May the Force accept me. Apprentice, the timing of this call is fortuitous. I was just about to contact you with news. The Padawan bade me meet with her, so I went to end this. But two of Kar's Jedi friends were waiting instead. Fascinating. It seems both Master and Padawan have been disturbed by your exploits. I have received a transmission from Noman Kar, calling me out, if you will, challenging me to face him to the death. Our enemy has become desperate. I'm sure you'll defeat him, Master. Oh, I have no intention of making the meeting. Car fails to understand I have outgrown our personal dispute. He expects me to jump at the chance of strangling him. He will be unprepared for you. Don't you want to vanquish your nemesis yourself? Norman Carr is just a vehicle to my greater goal. The duel is to happen on Hutter, at the site of Noman Carr's betrayal so long ago. A fitting place for this to end. Defeat him, but do not kill him. His torment will reach out to his Padawan. He will be the bait that brings her to you. You honor me. I can feel Jason Wilson on the verge of breaking, and Carl's desperate actions confirm it. Subdue the master, and the pupil will come to save him. I have foreseen it.
after this chapter one will be over and I will close the stream. responsible for missed departures. There are others waiting. Move along. be patched up. Your presence tells me that my fellows Olden and Xylix must have failed. Pity. Should have known Barris couldn't be trusted. As a man of my word, I'm here. Alone as agreed. Your master shows himself a coward, sending you in his stead. You sound upset, Master Carr. Angry, even. Your crusade has affected me, Sith. I'm not blind to that. But I've wandered the line between the dark and the light before. I walked among your master and the Sith. My connection to the light survived them, and it shall survive you. You can't fool me. Your connection to the light is sputtering. I find your disruptions unnerving. But don't flatter yourself. I have no choice but to put an end to you. And then all will become calm again. Once you're out of the way, Jason will provide the proof I need to open the Jedi Council's eyes and expose Barriss's network of spies. Come, Carr. Let us embrace death and settle this once and for all. strong with you. I must dig deeper. Release your anger. It's the only way to defeat me. This is 
is not right. Fall! You must fall to me. I fall to no one. My womb is mortal, Seth. At least I die knowing you'll never find Jasa. My lord, Darth Barra sent us in case you needed help. Clearly that's not the case. He said Nomen Kar should be kept alive. May we stabilize him? No. Barris be damned! I want to die. Then Jason will be safe. I'm not done, Carr. You will suffer as no one has ever suffered. May the Force protect me. We'll save him, my lord, and then be out of your way in an adjacent chamber. Hurry, man! The Jedi's fading! <sighs> Torture me all oh, you like, Sith. The pain only fills me with more hate, more rage. You... I... I'm going to kill you. You and your pathetic master are dead. Do you hear me? Dead! How delightful to hear you spew such venomous thoughts, Jedi. Please continue. Your smugness is an insult. You are not my better. Unbind me. So I can rip you limb from limb. My lord, the Padawan has arrived. She looks rather unnerved. Now we'll see what she's really made of. Sith, your men outside let me pass, so I assume I'm expected. Cease your sadistic attacks on my master, now! Jason, no! I told you to stay put! How dare you defy me! Jason's destiny lies with me, old man. My sacrifice for nothing! Stupid child! For all your power, you have understood nothing. What have you... done to him, Sith? Has this been inside him all along? No. It can't be. No one can hide such darkness. Somehow you've turned him mad! Look into your master's heart and see the truth. Master Carr taught me not to use my power as a crutch, only when it was clearly necessary. I've never brought it to bear on him, but... I... I sense... Pride, and envy, and hate, and vengeance? No! What Sith trick is this? I would have known if such darkness resided within him. It's thrilling to watch your whole world crumble. I'm not here for your amusement, Sith. You killed Master Yonlok, and my parents, and now you've twisted my master into some abomination. I felt every torturous moment you put him through, and it must end now. Stop me. Lash out and strike me down. No, I... Is this more trickery? Do not taunt me, Sith. I will not be played with. Prove you are right. Destroy me. There is no other way. If not, you and your master die here. I've warned you. Wait! What have I done? Jason, no! Prepare to die, Sith! <laughs> Sorry. 
so frustrating. I cannot defeat you. It was... Was it all lies? Everything? He told me that the light side was stronger. That it was why I could see through the facade of those who were dark. But it's not true. I am no match for you. The dark side is clearly... stronger. You haven't completed your training, Jacer. When you are fully communed with the light side of the Force, no Sith will be your match. Yet you are a master of the light. Why couldn't you beat me? All my life I've put up with deceit and denial. I thought the Jedi would be different. You've shown me otherwise. You've exposed Master Carr for what he is. It's your power that reveals a person's true nature. The fear you inspire forces truth to the surface. I want that. You will be my apprentice, and I will teach you the ways of the dark side. I am honored, my lord. At last, I feel a sense of purpose, something I can count on. What do you wish of me? And what shall we do with Master Carr? Your first act in my charge is to kill your former master. You want me to kill him? I'm conflicted about this. We cannot concern ourselves with the plight of someone such as him. I see. There is an attractive simplicity to that credo. I'm actually feeling excited at the prospect of killing him. Jason. The Sith is turning you into a murderer. It is for the greater good. A principle the Jedi often use to justify their actions, no? It is done, my lord. Nomen Kar is no more. I've never witnessed a more devastated enemy. My emotions are raw, but I have never felt so alive. I have a taste for blood now. I look forward to indulging it with your next command. You're not dead. What's it today? Guns to Balmora, a whole planet full of weapon factories, and they still make more. That better be. recently how much I enjoy serving you. I am a lucky droid master. I sensed Noman Carr's death from across the galaxy. I must admit, after all these years, to be rid of him 
It has unsettled me a bit. A worthy adversary is hard to come by. Don't worry. A good Sith is always cultivating new enemies. I see you have a new passenger. Jason Wilson, I presume. This is my master, Darth Barris. Greetings, my lord. You've endured quite a lot, young one. But you seem to have come through it rather well. Would you agree? I am very pleased with the outcome. I sense her devotion to you, apprentice. However did you manage that? When will you realize there is nothing I cannot accomplish? I'll admit this is more than I was expecting. There's no denying you are a master of the dark arts now. Only the most accomplished among us are named as lords among Sith. You have more than earned the distinction. I hereby confer the title of Sith Lord upon you. You honor me. Through your exemplary service, you honor yourself. I award a considerable stipend to those who attain such a rank in my service. Enjoy it. Now celebrate as you see fit. Then return to me here on Dromund Kos. I have great plans for us. Wow. A lord. I'm impressed. Congratulations, my lord. You've both been a great help. Service is its own reward. Yeah. What he said. I already prepared Jace's quarters. I'll go ahead and show her to them. Nice of you to assume some initiative. I'm here. I sensed Noman cars, I must admit. A worthy adversary. Don't worry, I s This is my master. Du Greetings, my You've endured I am very I sent. I learned from the best, Master. <laughs> Excellent. The perfect disciple. There's no denying you are a master of the only the most. You honor me. I award a can now celebrate. Wow. A lord. Congratulations, my. You've both been a great help. Service is. Yeah. I already prepared Jace's quarters. I'll go ahead and show her to them. Perhaps you would be more comfortable in my room, Jace. Don't think it's going to be that easy, my lord. Ooh, I really like her. <laughs> so, my lord, now you have the girl. A victory, I dare say, even Barris failed to anticipate. You've become a Sith Lord and your power base is growing. Where are your sights set now? For the time being, we follow orders, but soon we set our sights on the master. If my talents can be of help, I hope you will utilize them. I leave you to enjoy this achievement. What is on your mind, Apprentice? So much. I've only touched the dark side, and already I feel as though the galaxy is unfurling before me. There's so much to take in. And I'll admit, I'm a little uncertain about what it means to be Sith.
You must learn how things run around here. What is so might there's some Your transition to the dark side won't be easy. You should feel free to come to me with any concern. I'm already more comfortable with you, with the dark side, than anywhere else I've been. All my life I've felt kept and confined. Always wanting to watch what I say, treating emotion as the enemy. The dark side is my freedom. I'm going to express everything. We believe that letting our emotions flow makes us stronger and unlocks our potential. As you speak, I am swelling with pride and hope. Please, may I ask you something? What do you want to know? It's about the Twi'lek, Vat. Can she be trusted? She seems rather soft. It takes no special powers to see that. Oh. Then you are already aware of her leanings? I'm sure you have it under control, then. I meant no disrespect. I see I have much to absorb. I'm humbled by your attention. Thank you. We can continue this discussion another time. Of course, my master. Wanted to talk? Nothing crazy. Just thinking about what happened back on Narshada with the old gang. When I saw a taunt flirting with you, I don't know, it, it was weird. Always strange to see people you know in their personal lives. Yeah, maybe. Taunt always flirted with our guy friends. Never bothered me before. Maybe you were just in a weird mood. Huh. Let's just drop it then. Do something else with our time. You know, standing family is all well and good, but seeing the old gang again, it just made me miss my mom and sister. Which is sort of weird. My memories are so old. I remember having the memories more than I remember the actual events. Does that make any sense? Sometimes it helps to just talk about it. I guess someday I'll have to do something more than talk, I suppose. Right now I just think, what would Tiva be like today? The last time I saw my sister she was 10, 12. Okay, enough of that. Moving along. The latest lord in the Emperor's arsenal returns. You're just in time. I have need of you. My master on the Dark Council, Darth Vengeance, wants war. Not petty skirmishes that tiptoe around the Treaty of Coruscant, but open warfare. Vengeance has tasked me with finding a way to compel the rest of the Council to tear up the Treaty. The sooner we can stop pulling punches, the sooner the Republic will fall. The Republic is stronger than you think. Otherwise, the Emperor would never have negotiated peace. But I may have found an opportunity that will have the Council and the Emperor ready to act. Most think that our inability to find and defeat one man, General Karist is gone, kept us from outright victory and forced the negotiated peace. Tell me you found this man, and that I get to kill him. General Gon operates from the shadows, a phantom single-handedly preventing the fringe systems from falling to us. After years without a hint of his whereabouts, I've learned that he's meeting on Nar Shaddaa with traitorous Imperial agents. You will go there, and you will kill him. Consider him dead. Without Gon, the fringe systems will fall. Control of the outlying planets will be a great advantage. 
so to Narshadar, and deliver Darth Vengeance's red carpet to war. My lord, I'd appreciate it if you could speak with Vet. Ask her not to disturb me when I'm working. Exactly how is she disturbing you? She's not wired for military precision. And there's no filter on that Twi'lek mouth. When I was tracking down Agent Volderan, she must have overheard me refer to Moff Broisk. And now she persistently pesters me about him. She keeps <laughs> slipping his name nonsensically into conversations just to annoy me. Says she won't stop until I tell her why I hate the man. She wants to get to know you, Quinn. It wouldn't kill you to make friends. With her? My lord, please. It's neither appropriate nor in the Empire's interest to discuss the matter with non-military personnel. Besides, knowing her, the details of Broisk's collapse at Druckenwell <laughs> and his and my subsequent conflict would only give her more fodder. Leave it to me. She'll stop bothering you. I was hoping you'd say that, my lord. Thank you. Well, gonna end from here, I guess. Um, oh, I'll do one more. Always a pleasure, Master. You're not dead.
Africa, please select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Slacking. General Gon, I'm happy to report that Jedi Knight Zarinder has landed safely on Hoth. I saw to it personally. You're a valuable asset of the Republic, Faust. Someday the rest of the Chiss will follow your lead. Good work leading me to General Gon, Faust. Men, we've got trouble. Rally around the General! What's this, Faust? Have you double-crossed me? No, General. I'm not... I mean... Uh... Give it up, Fast. The General's no dope. General, it's a lie. I swear to you. I believe you, Fast. Sith and Notorious liars. Don't worry. Our bond is not broken. I think I can guess who you are, Sith. For all of Darth Barriss's covert manipulations, you have banged around the galaxy rather loudly. <coughs> now Barriss has finally found me. I'll have to be more careful moving forward. Your moving forward days have come to an end. The Sith attacks! Let's <laughs> go. 
killed them all. Please, mercy. I... we will rededicate ourselves to the Empire. You all have to die for your treason. <laughs> That's that. This will conclude my stream. Well, tune in next time for the rest.